Today I'm going to start off by doing some printmaking and as you guys might have seen the other day when I ordered this it looked like it was going to come in this sort of white packaging and I said it was different and I was a bit concerned that it would be a different sort of paper like different quality even though it's named the same thing but I'm really happy it's the same one that I ordered last time. I'm just printing the first print. This print is actually one of my most popular prints on my store and I'm very surprised about that. This one is 11 by 14 inches. Yeah, just going to cut it up. And again, I signed it as well using my Pit Artist Pens by Faber-Castell. I want to show you guys how I actually roll up my prints. What I do is I start at this end. I start at the end that isn't sealed because... If you go from that end to this end, I find that you get a lot of trapped air, which can't escape. Whereas if you roll from this end to the, the sealed end up here, any air that's like trapped in here can escape through this end when you're rolling. So that's just something that I noticed through like trial and error. But what I do is I very, very carefully do the first turn. And this one's the most sort of important. You want to make sure that you're not actually creasing the paper. So you want to make sure it's just nice and smooth and then I just go and slowly roll it up. So I've got my hand in the way, can't see absolutely anything. Try and keep it as tight as possible so that it fits in the tube. As you can see it's nicely rolled up and then I just get the tube here. This is one of the larger ones and I just put it, put it in. I do this nice and carefully and I leave a little bit of space because obviously the cap needs to go in here so you don't want your paper right to the end otherwise you might risk damaging it. I've already got the cap on the other side here so I know that it's fine on that side and I just also look at it to see if everything looks smooth and if it looks nice and secure and then what I do is I get the other cap and I just put that on there and then that's ready. All that needs to be done with this now is I need to attach the address and just tape over it so that there's less risk of it getting wet. I also like to make sure that I am taping over the caps just to protect it a little bit. Now that I've got the first thing done on my to-do list, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is editing the hair Patreon tutorial of that really colourful updo that I showed you guys a few days ago. And I'll be sending off the prints later. I've got to do a few little print things today. And me and I'll be going out for a meal later to actually celebrate his 1k subscriber milestones. So that will be nice, which means that I have got a few hours before we do that to get the main things done. And then later on tonight, I'm going to be working on some more drawings for Patreon. This study was done in pastel pencils for those of you guys that didn't see the vlog a few days ago and what I did first was I was just working on the visuals so like rotating it because my camera is always uh, like upside down it's recording upside down so I always have to rotate it and just tweak a few things but I'm also watching a couple of my favorite like educational YouTube channels like YouTube creator um, like education for YouTuber channels there we go and that is Tim Schmoyer and Roberto Blake they are amazing I definitely recommend if you want to start your own channel to check out the channels Roberto Blake and video creators they are amazing and you'll learn so much it is now 20 past 3 and I've just finished editing that video it's just down here exporting away I like to use the Qt exporter rather than direct export because it means that I can still use Premiere Pro and edit other stuff even when this is exporting. I'm going to go through now and reply to all of the Patreon comments that I still need to answer and any messages and any like community posts and everything like that. I'm also going to message my $25 patron about the print rewards from what was the last month? March. March now that all of the pledges have been processed. I'm just going to message out to them about that and whilst I'm doing that watch I'm watching Jazz's latest video just in the background I also really want to actually update my intro video because it is really kind of cringy now that I look back at it and also it's just a bit irrelevant because mainly with this video I'm like talking about what it'd mean to me to like have patrons and stuff like that and even though that's important now I've got so many tutorials where I can actually 
you know, show what they can expect, whereas in the intro here, you don't really see anything about what they will get. Also, Darby just came and sent off the prints for me, so that's all done. That's a great, great help. It means I don't have to go and do it, and I can just stay and get more work done. So that's another thing off the to-do list, which is great. We're getting through it. It is now actually 7 o'clock and I just spent the last couple of hours replying to a ton of Patreon comments and messages. I messaged my $25 patrons about the prints and it was just really nice just replying to a load of comments, all of the ones I just went down the different posts and replied to them. It took me quite a while but now what I'm doing is I'm just going to make a thumbnail for Darby because he's trying to get his video up today and he's still editing it and I, as you know we're going out for dinner later and it's already 7 and he's still editing the video so I said I'll do the thumbnail to help him out so that we can go a little bit earlier otherwise if he had to do it then we probably wouldn't be able to go out so I'm just going to make that for him. It is now just turned 8 o'clock and I've finished making his thumbnail for him. I really like the effect of doing these little crosshairs behind the gradient background so that it's like gradients like on them I thought that was really nice a really nice touch as you know I really love making thumbnails so I really didn't mind doing it for him it's now quarter past nine and we're finally going out for our meal I'm really excited we're going out for a Chinese at one of our favorite Chinese places it's like an all-you-can-eat type of thing where you order like six different starters and like lots of different mains so yeah, I'm really hungry. I didn't have lunch either because I thought we were going to be going about five, but this one over here had stuff to do. So it slowly got later and later. And when it got to like five and I realized it was going to be something more like eight or nine, then I felt like it's too late to have lunch. Tell Darby, congratulations. Uh -huh. As you know, we're going out because he hit 1K subs. You're very proud, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I'm very happy and I just want to say thank you to those of you that did actually subscribe to me. I have been checking and I have seen that some of you have came from Kirsty's channel to subscribe to me. So thank you ever so much for that support. That you was guys really nice. are brilliant. Best audience, you're the best community guys, you really are. So what do you fancy for Chinese? Oh. I can't wait for the yuksha. Yeah, I was favorites. just about to say that, yuksha. Um, noodles. Gotta have some noodles. I want some Szechuan. Ooh, spring rolls and I want Szechuan. chicken wings and s sweet and sour chicken balls. Another thing that I'm really excited about is, you, prob you probably don't know, but YouTube have released these new metrics where, like before, if you did a video, you've seen how many views it got, but you don't know how many like people YouTube actually put it in front of. So like, for example, YouTube could have put your video in front of a million people, but just no one clicked on it because it was like an awful title and thumbnail. But now you can see how many impressions, like how many people YouTube put it in front of and the click through rate. So how many people actually like um, clicked on it. So it was really good. I was going through the videos and I was going through some of the videos that you guys thought the thumbnails were a bit cartoonish and girly on and the ones that got like low, low views like for example white hair and colour pencil and my ginger hair and colour pencil and they have like a really low click through rate so obviously is because of that sort of thing what we thought it was because of like the thumbnail and stuff because the click through rate was like a quarter of what the average was it was like one percent and the average was about like four and then the new ones that i'm doing that are doing really well have got like eight percent so double the average so i'm just going to continue to do more of what's working and less of what really did bad but yeah let's get some food guys we are about to try mussels for the first time let's see darby's reaction so you do it in one go do it in one go Wait. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, you did just have two chilies with it. What do you think? Nice? Oh, I think. Yeah. Got some yuk shang as well. For me, we've got uh, noodles. We've got the sweet and sour chicken. Beef and fat bean sauce. And some rice. We are now back from the meal. I had a really nice time and what I want to do now is actually do another patron drawing just before I go to bed and this is going to be a no study in pastel pencils. I've just sketched it out and I'll show you now. This is the reference image. I wanted to do one that had lots of freckles and so I just did a basic like sketch outline of where the main freckles are and just the main sort of like structures and shadows in the nose. I've just finished the nose study. It did take a little bit longer than I thought it would. 
it took about like an hour and a bit I think maybe longer maybe an hour and a half but I'm glad I got it done it's quite late I'm assuming probably like quarter to three or something in the morning I don't know so you know I said it was like quarter to three well that's a bit wrong four o'clock anyway guys that's it for today's vlog I hope you enjoyed it because it is so late I'm not going to do any questions today but keep sending them in and I'll do lots in the next one so that's it and I'll see you guys tomorrow or just another day soon bye guys